Hello world, from whichever time zone you're catching me from, my name is MD90. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so that you do not miss the uploads that come out. And uh, the easiest way for you, for you to navigate the channel is to head to the playlist. You'll find videos curated for you based on your interest. So if you're interested in the Kutika podcast, you'll find a playlist for that for news and trends. There's a playlist for that. Exclu exclusive with MD90, a bunch of uh, playlists that are created based on your interest. So the easiest way to navigate the channel is head straight to the playlist and you'll find what you're here for. Now consider becoming a member of the channel. Uh, right next to the subscribe button is the join button. You click on the join button uh, such so that you can become a member of the channel. Uh, you support the team on the production and the number of things that we're doing here and uh, we appreciate that. So the, the American uh, elections are turning out to be all that they are hyped up to be. <clears throat> so different sections of uh, the online was uh, reacting to what's going on in the US. So someone was saying legacy media is biased and wants to control what you know, uh, which is why citizen uh, journalism is essential. So pretty much saying <clears throat> all the media houses, ABC, uh, CBS, and uh, NBC are pretty much covering 84% positive uh, stuff about uh, Kamara Harris, while it's 89% uh, uh, negative stuff. So that's what the reaction is. Well, it's Donald Trump also doubles down on uh, the illegal immigration and the statistics, how they increased on uh, Kamara Harris's watch uh, because that was a ball game uh, during the Biden presidency. So he put up this graph on his uh, recently opened uh, Twitter account that was down for a while. Um, and then obviously another mega Chris, uh, outer mega Chris says, uh, Democrats should remember that Donald Trump was a good friend with uh, Jesse Jackson. Uh, Trump donated uh, to Jesse's uh, presidential campaign in 1988 and in 1999. Uh, Jackson uh, praised Trump for his lifetime of uh, helping black and uh, minority communities. So you can see the narrative that has been pushed on Twitter there. What is uh, uh, Donald Trump double down says, Kamara put the violent illegal and convicted uh, felons back into the streets. So he keeps on putting different ads uh, of uh, performance as uh, vice president and looking after immigration and the border wars there. So he put, even put, put up this image, you can uh, decipher what the message he's putting across and he puts Chicago there. You can see the symbolism. This is still Donald Trump on, the, on Twitter. What is uh, Elon Musk also says, literally last month, uh, and then puts up a tweet that I was put up by Joe Biden saying, uh, let me say this as um, as clear as I can. I am, I am the sitting president of the United States. I am the nominee of the Democratic Party. I am staying in the race. So simply saying, if you can go back on that word, what makes you think you do any other thing? And then, uh, you know, DNC was just happening in Chicago recently. And then uh, this grandma said uh, a selfie from uh, DNC in Chicago. You can see the stage reflection through her glasses, legendary photo. From a legendary woman, so that's that. Uh, what is Kamara Harris? Her husband uh, brings out a speech of uh, slitting his uh, big blended family. So these are some of the highlights that came from that. And then they alleged to say he's abandoned and aborted. So those things. What is the the highlight of the recent uh, DNC that happened in Chicago? Is this couple right here, uh, Michelle and. Uh, Barack Obama, they rocked the stage. So they are for Harris and Walls. So that's a ticket, that's a Democrat ticket. So some of the extracts from what Obama and um, Michelle had said, who's gonna tell him, meaning Donald Trump, who's gonna tell Donald Trump that the job uh, he's uh, currently seeking might be one of the those black jobs, Michelle Obama. So people are running with this extract of what she had said uh, during that speech, say, since Donald Trump had, had classified uh, certain jobs to be black jobs, so even the presidency, because of uh, the work that is involved in uh, obtaining it or performing very well, she referred to it as a black job. So meaning he was going to tell Donald Trump to say, even the job is second, it's a black job, according to his qualification. She further one says, we will never benefit from the affirmative uh, action of uh, generational wealth. That's one of the extracts that she put up there. And then obviously people react to the same, same Michelle Obama is not playing tonight. They put up the same speech of, uh, uh, to say Donald Trump should know that the presidency is equal to what he classifies as black jobs. 
And then sound up Barack Obama uh, about Donald Trump, a weird obsession with crowd sizes. So, you know, Donald Trump puts up different statistics to say uh, he's held uh, the largest uh, crowds uh, during the campaign trail. And then that's what uh, Barack Obama was jabbing at in that tweet. But this uh, Biden keeps on putting out what they've done so far. This is uh, says since uh, Vice President Harris and I took office, our economy has uh, generated uh, nearly 16 million jobs. An average um, unemployment under our administration has been lower than uh, during any administration in 50 years. So you can see the Democratic uh, Party seems to be united behind one candidate. Uh, Michelle Obama also tweeted, uh, she tags uh, Kamala Harris, says he's ready for uh, this uh, moment. By every measure, she would be one of the most uh, qualified people ever to seek the presidency. And uh, by every measure, uh, she will be one of the most dignified. So uh, she gave a very powerful speech doing that. And then uh, Kamara Harris also says, uh, breaking news, uh, Mich Michelle Obama, or breaking, Michelle Obama just laid the, into Donald Trump. Uh, this is the a Twitter handle that uh, supports Kamara Harris, not an official handle, say Donald Trump, like no one has uh, ever done before retreat, and then they put up that same video of that speech of to say those are black jobs. B to also does the same, pretty much putting up uh, it's it's trending in as much as Twitter is trying to down uh, size it to make sure it does not trend. That that speech was powerful. Uh, Bernie Sanders was there also. He gave his speech, so you can see they they they're offering a democratic front in this sense. And then as as arrived. Uh, Michelle Obama has arrived. America's hope is making a comeback. So part of a speech to say, you can sense it in the atmosphere based off the statistics that are going around. If you, all the opinion polls that have been recently published show that uh, Kamala Harris is leading Trump by uh, certain margins, especially in swing states. So she's saying that it was palpable in the atmosphere to say people can sense what's about to come. Well, his team was, this is the Democrat nominee, uh, says, I, I couldn't be prouder to be on uh, this ticket. And um, I couldn't be prouder to help uh, make uh, Kamara Harris the next uh, president of the United States. So they were on a different uh, platform, uh, so the Obamas. Uh, president uh, Obama, as vast majority of us, do not want to live in a country that is bitter and divided. We want something better. And the joy of... Um, the joy and excitement we are seeing around uh, the Harris Walls campaign tells us that we are not alone. So simply doubling down on that. And then uh, Tim Walls also, thank you, Milwaukee. Uh, not only did we have um, uh, way more energy at the Democratic National Convention, we have uh, way more energy at the site where the Republicans held theirs. So the momentum with our campaign, and it is it starts with uh, Kamara Harris. So. The Democrats are celebrating that that win that they're having or that wave that they're riding right now. Uh, Kamara Harris later on just ten minutes ago tweeted this. She says, uh, "Milwaukee, we came together because we 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 all deeply love and be, believe in our country. That's the promise of America." So those are some of the images from the, that campaign trail that they are on. Obama also. Uh, says um, he, he tags Kamara Harris and uh, Tim Walls, believing in America where we the people includes everyone because that is the only way we uh, this America's ex American experiment works. And despite what our politics might suggest, I think most Americans understand that. So simply saying, in as much as the politics may be shrewd at the moment, the fact is that um, Americans want democracy to prevail and uh, their country to thrive on. So that's what's going on in the U.S. elections at the moment. Keep you posted of anything that happens as the things unfold.